we can change it between a part that runs for 20 minutes to a part that can run for 40 minutes, even an hour, if it's a large enough piece of stock. Uh, there's incredible flexibility where you can have as many safe programs as you want. You can just change one variable in a program to switch over to a different part. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to MTD CNC today. We have the great privilege to talk about Universal Robotics, the Haas machine, fifth axis work holding, but ultimately the flexibility, ease of use, ease of adaptation as well. And I got this very awesome person with me today, Steve, and he is the guy that knows the most about this here at Thor Labs, which is why we've yanked him out of his office, forced him to be on camera, but I think he's a little bit grateful. We'll decide later if he's grateful or not. Uh, there's that face, he's absolutely or not but thank you so much for joining us Steve let's talk about this setup um, talking with you earlier we're talking about the idea and concept of 20 minute cycle times 40 minute cycle times up to 14 hours of unattended runtime or even more based on that cycle time but how easy was it to set up how easy was it to implement it was really easy to set up actually. I did some online trainings for the UR system. It took me about a day or so to get through all three of their online courses. And then after that, coming out here and actually working with the robot, we had it ready to go within maybe another day. It was the most difficult part with it was getting it to line up on the load and the unload portion of it. But the programming itself was super easy. Uh, setting everything up on the table over there, super easy. Just you guide it in place, you can use the buttons on the screen, you can use your arm, put it right in place. It was uh, it was very intuitive, easy to pick up, and it's anytime I need to make an edit, it's very... I feel like I'm using the word easy a lot, wow. I'm That's all right, back out. we would take that easy button, we'll yeah. click it. <laughs> easy button, click. Um, anytime you need to make an edit to the program, you just find it right in the tree. It's a visual kind of program, it's not like a CNC program where you have to find yourself in each line. There's a tree, you can locate yourself in the program and it's just one, two buttons and you've made your edits. It was, uh, I was surprised at how easy it was to set up. Steve, the first thing you said to me, which immediately sent me into shock was, I spent and learned online. I spent time on three classes online within a day. Now I hear all the time, and I'm sure the audience does as well, all the time from the sales guys about how easy it is. Mm -hmm. But you're not a sales guy. No. You're actually here utilizing the machine every day and you said, I'm impressed by how intuitive it is. It was super easy to learn. We utilize that word easy in a profound way because it was that easy, right? And that mm -hmm. word, whether we're using it a lot or not using it enough is really based on that. And the message we want to convey is that simplicity and being able to do that. So now that we know, how flexible is it as well? And I ask you that because I brought up 14 hours of unattended runtime, but this could be all different parts as well, couldn't it? Uh, it could, it could. It, we can change it between a part that runs for 20 minutes to a part that can run for 40 minutes, even an hour if it's a large enough piece of stock. Uh, there's incredible flexibility where you can have as many safe programs as you want. You can just change one variable in a program to switch over to a different part. Uh, you can do pretty much anything you imagine with it. I like creativity. Are you a creative person? I try. I dabble. And plus with those long run times, it keeps you off a of camera more often, right? It, it is much fun as you're having today. Definitely. So as we continue to talk about this, um, fifth axis is it's somewhat new in the world of pneumatic automation. They've been around for a long time as a US manufacturer and work holding system, but the pneumatic system is somewhat new. Do you find that to be reliable as well? For the most part, it's pretty reliable. Every so often it'll get stuck, but I think some of that is to do with the coolant gums up after a while. Um, but for the most part, it's reliable. I haven't had too many issues with it. Uh, the Holes in the pneumatic lock are really, it works well with the pole studs, it lines up, it holds everything in place and we haven't had any issues with the machining side of things. How easy was it to adapt the overall system to what currently existed ahead of time? Because walking around your shop, it seems like everything is automated now, but I'm pretty sure it didn't all start automated as part of adapting as we grow, right? Yeah. So I know this goes back kind of to the first question I asked you, but I think it's important to kind of reiterate and say, okay, as a full system, not just understanding the UR, mm -hmm. it was either really difficult or it wasn't so difficult and we were able to adapt really quickly 
I think overall we were able to adapt pretty quickly. Uh, there were a few kinks with getting it to talk back and forth between the UR and the CNC machine, but at this point it's it's running on its own. I like it when the machines make a noise that we look at it and go, was that me? Was that? <laughs> but that makes it more fun, right? So I guess I want to close this out just with you, Steve. Uh, uh, because I know Allendale has been a friend and a partner for a long time. And it would be remiss of me not to bring up that relationship. And you did mention I went online and learned. But I'm sure that they've been here making sure that you're taken care of along that journey as well, haven't they? Yes, they have. Allendale has been here with me since day one of me out here on the robot. The very first thing I did with it was I worked with Allendale to prove out one of our first programs. And anytime I need help, I know they're just a text, a call away and they'll be here in person if they need to be or they'll just be on the phone with me whenever I need it. And Alec and Jim are actually here today. They're quite clever folks, aren't they? Yes, they are. Well, we had to give a little shout out to them because I know they'll be watching the video now in their new building. They have a theater room where they're going to watch us on TV in their theater room. Thank you all for watching. It really is that easy. I don't know how many times we want to sit here and just say, it's not just a sales pitch or a sales tactic talking about the ease of use and adaptation. Steve is a real person. And this is why we're here today because this is a real story. And you heard him say how easy it was. So if you're interested in automation for your shop, I mean, take your time, be smart about it, do your investments as you should, but at the same time, no longer fear it. No longer fear that it's taking your job or removing dull, dirty, dangerous, and getting into what we love again, which is all the creativity, right, Steve? Mm -hmm. And Steve says, yes, get me off camera. So thank you all for watching, Steve. Thank you for the courage to join me. I do appreciate you, my friend. Thank you.